Hello and welcome to this video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build CI CD pipelines with GitLab. First, we will create project in GitLab. I installed GitLab on my local machine and you can check out my video on how to create local instance and then we will create a Java microservice. For more details, you can also check out my video on how to dockernize Java REST application. After that, we will register a GitLab runner on Ubuntu machine. You can also check out my video on how to run docker in docker container. Finally, we will define a pipeline with two stages building the java microservice and deploying the application so let's log in in gitlab and create a new project so let's log in in gitlab so as you see it is local instance i don't have any projects so let's create one create project create blank project and here you see you need to give name and then create project so project has been created it contains only the readme file Later on, we will add the code for our Java application in CI CD pipelines. We don't have any pipelines. We will define it in our project. I will, I will show you how to do that. And in the setting, if you go to CI CD, you see here in runner and you expand this, you see we don't have any runner defined here. So, so now we will define a pipeline runner that will execute the pipeline once code is pushed to the main branch. And for that, I created a Ubuntu machine as Docker container. You can check out my video on, on this. So let's start the machine. Using this command, we run this image that I already prepared. And you see here, I'm using this option. I'm mapping this file from the container to this one from the host. This is important. This is one way to run Docker inside Docker. You can check out my video on this. So let's run the container. Let's connect to this container, docker. We are inside the container. I defined a demo user as sudo. Now we need to install a GitLab runoff for Ubuntu. And for that, GitLab provided a repository. So let's get this repository using this command. Using this command, you can check the script if you want. So let's run it. So repository is now loaded. So now let's install the GitLab runner using this command. So let's run this command. It will take some time. Installation is done. Now we need to register this runner with our GitLab. To do that, we have to run this command, GitLab runner register. Let's run and you see you are required to provide some information and you can get it from GitLab. We copy this. Then you need to provide the token. Copy it, pass. After that, you need to give description, for example, demo runner. And here you need to provide a tag. We will keep it empty because if you provide here a tag, only those projects having these tags will be executed by this runner. So we keep it empty and also this is empty. And now here execute, you have several executor. We will use Docker. Let's see. And the image, for example, Alpine, the configuration is saved here in this file. Let's check it. Here we have all information entered interactively. And you see this one, this one is very important volumes. We are mapping this file from the host to this one from the container. This will enable Docker in Docker container. So now let's go back to GitLab. We will refresh this page and we go to runner. And you see now the runner has been detected and it is green. It means that everything is okay. The next step is to implement the Java application. And for that, let's clone the repository and we clone this project. We go again here. So on my local machine let's clone the project our repository gitlab demo and i have already prepared this project here i prepared this project here i copied the file so this is my application based on open liberty it is a web service and let's open this project in intellij and you see this is my home you can check out my video on this how to create this application you can also use your own application it doesn't matter it is not 
relevant. Greeting, it is only a rest with this endpoint here. And here is how to bootstrap the application. But the most important thing is this file, GitLab CI YAML file. And you see here, I defined the stages for my pipelines. Once this file is detected by GitLab, it will be executed by the corresponding runner. And the stages I defined, build and deploy, uh, because we are using a Java application. So the, the base image is Maven. And this form XML, when we build the project, it will create a jar file that we have to copy to the container. As you see here, the script are the steps that will be run. You can put what you want in YAML format. And the second stage is deploying. So you see, it is very simple. Deploying, I take only the jar file and I create using this Docker file, I create an image based on OpenJDK Alpine. And this is all. And after that, I will run the doc publishing this port. So let's commit this change and see what happens can commit everything uh, it is okay we can ignore that push so let's go back to GitLab and see what will happen. So as already said, the pipeline should be run automatically once this file .gitlab CI YAML file is detected by GitLab. And you see, yes, so job has been created, but not yet running. The job will be delegated to the runner, to the Ubuntu server as defined here. And you see it is running. Maybe there is an error, but let's see. You can click here and you see we have two steps according to this file let's go inside this here we can check the log as you see now the first stage in the pipeline was successful this is the message so let's look further in the second steps it is still running which stage deploy it will take some time and as you see the second stage is also running now we can check the log so the second stage deploying the application so the job is done according according the GitLab CI YAML file. It creates an image and after that it will run this image. And you see the, the image has been run and we can get this information from here. So our application is deployed. Let's copy this. And this information is from the Docker. We need to place this with localhost and here our entry point hello. And you see it is working. So this was a demo about CITD with GitLab. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you for watching and bye.